Oh, there's another one. Oh. I was not expecting that. The train's all twerking right there. Welcome back once again. It's Paul with Conduct Deluxe. So previously we made our way into the frontier. We got this section done and now it's up to us to head our way into the next portion. Which is going to get us a lot closer to all the gold and goody. I mean all the gold and the silver and all the other goodies to extract from the frontier. Oh man. You gotta be extra careful. Oh man, how many trains are there? Hmm, maybe I should be asking different questions. Anyway. One thing I'm curious about, though, is why the medieval campaigns had different character icons in the top right corner, but for the Wild West campaign, we've got the same little character icons in the top right corner as the rest of the game. But they just add somebody with a cowboy hat or something. Just a thought. And like one of those like leather vests. And the leather chaps. And if they wanted to go the extra nine yards, they have a leg it or something. I think that'd look funny. But that's just me. But yeah, this one's pretty linear. Just gotta be careful. Missed it. I guess I'll have to catch up on the next one. Dang it. Happened again. Well, at least I went out with a bang. Oh yeah, I forgot these trains stop at the stations, too. But now that we got all the sightings... Right, we got uh, trains loaded with passengers from the sightings. Should be able to move forward. And I missed it. Dang it. Hopefully we'll be able to get back on track. Cargy right there. So hard to tell what the stagecoaches are gonna do. Let's pull 
move this switch right there. That's better. Will we be able to get it in time to get the gold? I don't think so. But we are pretty dang close to wrapping up. Assuming that we don't have everything explode in the next few seconds. Okay. I shouldn't complain. Anyway, off to the Miner's Menace. Well, I can see why it lives up to that name. Just gotta be extra careful with all the crossings. Let's park you right there. Okay. So far I haven't had any trains that need to go to the red station. Until now. This one looks pretty easy though. Were it not for the fact that I have to get so many passengers by. Oh there's another one! Oh. I was not expecting that. The train's all twerking right there. Because I thought there were only like two heavy duty freight trains I had. I mean, one heavy freight train I had to deal with, but apparently there's two. Yeah, there's two in the lower level, and I didn't know that. And that caught me by surprise. Just make some adjustments there. Okay. Hey, we got three! Three stars! That's good. Pretty quick, easy, intuitive, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Anyway, off to Vulture Valley! Do I only have two locomotives in this level? So I need no, I got a third one. But it should be pretty basic. Hopefully. I don't want to jinx it. Now I'm wondering where everybody went. That's 
better. Just a little adjustment here and there. Oh man, there's another one. And now I'm beginning to suspect that there are one too many trains here. I'll have to park them at the stations in the immediate future. Exciting. Up at the top. Oops. So close, but no cigar. Oh, I can stop it back there. So where does it go? It bounces around all the way up to here and then it clips right up to there, okay. I didn't think I need to know that, but now I do. So park it right there for a sec. It's a few more adjustments. Stop. Dang it. I don't know why it always sounds like whenever they start up or stop. Like a. What's it called? Like a car that's struggling to start up, like a Model T or something. You know how motors backfire? At least for the older ones. Speaking of cars, it's come to my attention that there's going to be a point in my state where gasoline powered cars are going to be completely phased out from sales. And as great as that sounds in principle, it doesn't solve the traffic problem. Because just swapping out the fleet just isn't going to cut it. Sure, electrifying might go quite a long way when it comes to energy efficiency in the long term, but it's still not as effective as actually just using 
transit. It takes up way less space on the road in terms of footprint and saves way more energy. But I know that I'm not in any position to make transit a priority in my state. I just don't have the political power. Or the time or the money or any of the other things I'm supposed to have to really shift anything. Which is sad, but I'm not the one who made the rules. Let's see, this train's going up and over. And it's purple, so we'll just let it pass. Still can't believe we're getting new trains. Stop it right there. Take a few more adjustments. And another one. That was a close call. I can't believe I overlooked that one. But again, I still can't believe it's not butter. Anyway, we should be able to make a beeline to victory if we're focused. Okay, it's a little bit better. So how... Let's see, it goes up and over, so... That'll give me a sense of how much time I've got. between tunnel passages. And now I seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. I think that's train number five. I thought I stopped that one, but I don't know. I don't know, man. This level's throwing me for a loop in a way that the other levels didn't. Park it right there. And away we go. Okay, so it should pull out here. And the other one. Then the other one. Why did I think I had enough clearance there? The world may never know. Let's see, I think that's train number three.
next up. Ooh. It was too close. Stop it right there. Take a detour here. Oh. What did I think I pulled this switch here? Okay, that's more like it. Pull it around. And I think that should do it. Okay. So far, okay. Dang it. I think I'm gonna have to set a limit, no more than four trains at a time. Because that fifth one is always throwing me for a loop. I'm cutting it a little too close. That'll be enough detours for one day. Some cargo right there. Okay. There. And with 14 seconds on the clock, we got her done. Just barely. And the next stop is the dynamite dig. If my memory's correct, this level is pretty intense. I haven't played this level in like two years. Maybe more. And there really aren't that many cues as to what goes where. Let's follow this yellow train and see where it goes. Yellow train, yep. This direction sends it down to the bottom. question of where everything else goes. It's 
gonna take a while to figure out. So from here to here, here to here, okay. Should be simple enough. But yeah, this level is, for the lack of a better term, Dino Bye. Let's pull this here. Well, I sent something the wrong way. Okay. Okay. That's more like it. There we go. Yeah, everything's working out now. I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer to figure out, but I guess not. these switches. Purple. Gotta set it like this. Red. Ooh, I missed another one. Stop you right there. Oh, stop! I think that's the first, actually. In this entire game, I've never had a full head on collision yet. So I'll have to be extra careful now. This is the way, also the way. There should be enough clearance or headway between the two trains heading to the very bottom. Let's pull this. Okay. Let's see what's up next. Stop right there. Oops. Sent a purple train to the yellow station. I guess we'll work around it. there. Okay. That's more like it. Finally back on track. No use getting railroaded here. All right, we're almost halfway there. Let's flip this. Actually, wait a minute. Uh oh. Nope. 
Surfers. We'll get him next time. Luckily, everything defaulted to. Uh, certain directions and colorations. Set it up like this, and like this. That's more like it. Stop right there. Ooh, I pulled the... Alright, put the switch in the wrong direction again. There'll be a workaround, I'm sure. Let's try that one more time. That's better. So many purple trains. So little time. Luckily I didn't miss anything at the moment. Flip these switches. And I think we're almost there. Yellow. Purple. Okay. We're really close. But no cigar on that one. We only got two instead of the desired three stars. Oh well. Anyway, what do we open in this one? What do we get? More track packages. Oh well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode is gonna be Crypt Chaos. And yeah, I think that's gonna take a while, so I will see you in the next one. And until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye everybody.